Journalists film as police clear protesters from a university campus. Several reporters across the U.S. have been detained or harassed while covering the Israel-Hamas war protests. Such incidents, say experts, have a chilling effect. If you go to cover a protest and you get arrested and maybe even a little violently arrested and get hurt, you're going to think twice about how close to that story you want to get next time if you think there's a risk that you're going to end up in handcuffs or worse, spend the night in jail. The number of press freedom violations in the U.S. dropped in recent years. But incidents like a newsroom raid in Kansas, arrests and subpoena requests for journalist records contribute to the country's 10-point decline on the World Press Freedom Index. Another factor, says Reporters Without Borders, is hostility from some political leaders. Officials should uphold media as an important part of democracy, says National Press Club President Emily Wilkins. So I would call on our elected leaders to, to be brave, to speak the truth, to speak the truth about the media and the role that it plays in the democracy, and realize that for every time that they villainize reporters and the media as a whole, that, that, that is a knock against democracy, and that is something that is making our entire country weaker. Adding to a tougher media environment are economic issues. Analysts see a growth in so-called news deserts where communities have little to no dedicated coverage. The result is fewer reporters left to act as public watchdogs. Cleveland Plain Dealer reporter Sabrina Eaton says she is one of the only reporters left covering Congress for audiences in Ohio. We're supposed to be letting people know what's going on, and if nobody is there to let people know what their members of Congress are doing, uh, I mean, that's, that's, I think that's a tragedy. Noting unprecedented disinformation and distrust toward media, Weimer says reporters have a big responsibility. We tend to think of press freedom as the rights of journalists, but it, there's also an element of it that's the obligations of journalists, and journalists have a, an ethical obligation to provide objectivity, uh, to cover issues fairly, uh, to be transparent, and to hold themselves to account when they make mistakes. But not all is lost, says RSF. The Press Act, which has bipartisan support in the House and Senate, will offer greater protection to journalists and their sources from government requests for information if enacted into law. Cristina Caicedo-Smith, VOA News.